these videos you're about to watch will show you the raw emotion and panic that sets in when you experience a possible major breakdown. Well, y'all, I got me a check engine light on. I'm over here at the Dallas Operating Center. I was supposed to deliver tonight, but check engine light come on, so I decided to go ahead and pull in. This is starting to get a little aggravating. <laughs> I'm not one to really get stressed out or aggravated about stuff that happens. But, as y'all know, a few weeks ago, I broke down over the Speedco pit. Last week, I had dust covers eating into my airbags. I've got two tires that are wearing funny on my drive axle. This morning, I leave after a nice Thanksgiving. I have a nail in the sidewall of one of my drive tires. Now, I'm coming in over here to Dallas. My check engine light throws on, so you know, okay. I stop, make sure I've got oil and I've got water and everything's good. Engine light's still on. So I come on into the operating center and lo and behold, he does the code on it and it is a request for the DPF clean out or ash system. And he says it's probably going to cost me $400 and there's not nothing that's covered under warranty. On top of that, if I don't do it in 1,100 miles, it's going to start derating and slowing me down. God forbid a filter or something be all sm smutted up in there. So in the morning, I've got a call. And get an approval for the work. Then I'm going to go deliver my load. Then I'm going to come back. And hopefully they can do the work on the truck. Of which this week I'm not going to be having that much money. So I'll probably end up getting a pretty, pretty low check. But then, you know, <laughs> I've had a pretty good run of it. And there's nothing that's going to break me down yet. But if it keeps on like this, I can't afford to be throwing an extra three, four hundred dollars every week on a truck that's still got warranty and it's only three years old. It's starting to make me wonder if the business plan that might be flawed somewhere and if that flaw might be in the vehicle I've chosen. I mean, a starter dust covers now this crap is going to slow you down if you don't fix it and it's just routine maintenance supposedly if it was routine maintenance something that needed to be done you would think these engineers would be smart enough to give you a warning or tell you a mile marker of when you need to be prepared to do it not all of a sudden, out of nowhere, blah, 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 here you go, you give us the money, go about your business. You know, they should have a date or a certain mile marker whenever you need to stop and do this. If they do, nobody has told me, and maybe that's my fault. I don't know. But lo and behold, that is what I'm dealing with tonight. And I'm a little aggravated about it. Now, I guess it's just one of those things that we all have to deal with over time. So right now I'm going to go to sleep. And hopefully in the morning when I wake up it'll be a little bit better day. So God bless and we'll see y'all on the next trip.
All right, I just done a little bit more studying on my situation. And supposedly they do recommend doing a DPF clean out between three and 400,000 miles. 300 for the older models. Can go up to 400 on the newer models. My truck has 438,000 miles on it. And I just now got that check engine light tonight. And uh, if I would have studied or if somebody would have told me earlier, I would have been ready for it a little bit quicker and I could have done it in a more opportune time. Now, there is a possibility I could go ahead and run this load and the next load and then get it done on the next week. But it could cause me some problems on the way to Jacksonville. I don't know. It's, I'll have to be... Uh, I'll have to think about my strategy for what I'm going to do. As y'all see, I got me some yogurt. <laughs> no sardines tonight, just yogurt. Um, I could eat me some sardines. See, I, I still have another pack. I, I still have another pack. Y'all want some? But no, seriously. Uh, he's telling me that I have to call and get them to email him an approval for 500 just to make sure they got enough money to cover the clamps and labor. So, anyway, we won't even write it up till then. So, early in the morning, I'll have to call and get an approval. And that might mess me up on my two loads, and it might not. I don't know. I know I will get this one delivered. But I don't know if I'll get that other one picked up. I should, though. Mars on Saturday. Still going to be a shorter week than what I... You know, I had planned on a short week, but I wasn't planning on this repair coming out of this check. If that makes any sense to y'all. It's stressful, but I know once it's done, I can rest a little easier knowing my DPF filters are clean because they can cost around... 3000 for some new ones, so I'm still not out of the woods. I mean, they could go in there tomorrow, and they could be ruined, and they could need some new filters, and uh, that could get costly. Mm, get costly real quick, so y'all say a little prayer that I have some cheap filters, and that it costs me less than $500, because that's going to hit me a lick this week. But that's all right. Last week, I, I did pretty good. So I'm not going to go out of business or nothing. It's just stressful because it seems like every week it's been something. Long, cold November. November rain. Guns N' Roses. Great song. Very long. Helps you just feel your depression really good. <laughs> anyway, uh, God bless and I will update y'all. At my earliest convenience. Short update. It is now the next morning. I had to call Charlotte and get them to approve the work. So they took my credit card. First time they've done that, usually they just take it straight up out the settlement. Something to do with it being the weekend. And, um, anyway. I talked to the service guy. I'm going to go run this load and drop it and then come back and start on the job right after noon. So hopefully everything will go okay. And maybe tonight at some point I'll get to go home and have church tomorrow. But who knows? It's all in the Lord's hands later no check engine light abs light is on but he said that'll go off as soon as i get rolling uh he did the reinforced regen on it and everything is coming up okay but look at that temperature over there what's 
up with that? I know it's going to take a while for it to cool. I got the fan going because you know it gets hot when it's doing that regen. I got a good old pressure, no engine light. And we're going to watch that there temperature go down. But he said that um, all my pressures are good and I should not have any more problems out of that. If I do to call him back again but I think I just dodged a $400 bullet that's an expensive bullet Lord of mercy hallelujah praise Jesus I can't afford that I gotta try to get some tires on this truck and I don't think that they gonna charge me anything for doing hooking it up doing the regen But I know I smell carbon up in this truck big time. It stinks. So I'm fitting to get out of here and see that temperature's going right on down. Man, I can't tell you all the stress that just got relieved off of me. I cannot tell you how much. So God bless, we'll holler at you later. Well y'all, I have made it to the Gateway Travel Plaza on I-20 headed back toward Louisiana. Look at the sunset. I am fixing to head back. Good news is the check engine light has not come back on. And uh, it looks like everything's going to run fine. I'm going to do a walk around on my truck, get back on the road. I got me some peanuts and some pork skins, a diet drink. Looks like uh, I might have dodged a real big bullet. Thank you for uh, the support and the prayers. I appreciate it. And we will holler at y'all on another day. Look at that sunset. Ain't that pretty? God bless.